Um, you've been looking at how to combine uh, solar panels in agriculture, if I would summarize it. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more of what was the research really about? Yeah, so we were actually interested to see whether we can combine these two because we saw that solar panels actually provide a lot of shade and that is something that can benefit crops in certain climates and for certain crops. So we wanted to investigate that for open fields and for greenhouses. Mm -hmm. uh, the combination of, of solar panels on an on actual field. Um, some farmers say, well, I don't really want to have it, but it has benefits, right, if you would do that? Yes, exactly. The social acceptance of conventional ground-mounted photovoltaic systems is not very good right now. We desperately need to deploy more and there is no land for that. We're trying to put panels above the roofs but this is just not enough and uh, we're out of space so we thought that why not combine these two and of course we wouldn't combine them if there was no mutual benefit and that's really what we're trying to prove the synergies right the benefit and where are the synergies so this is something that uh, really depends on the location mm -hmm. the crop and how you design your pv system right so if you're in some place like africa it makes a lot of sense to shade your crops because there is a lot of sunlight, there is a lot of heat, the humidity is low, and so that makes crops not photosynthesize very well. But if you're somewhere like the Netherlands or uh, Northern European countries, then it's a bit more tricky in the way you shade your crops. So that's when you really need to customize the photovoltaic array to meet the needs of crops, to give them sufficient light to grow. Conventional modules will not really do the job for most climates, um, so when you customize these modules, you have these synergies and things that you gain out of this combination is a higher energy produced per panel, right? So you produce, you squeeze the most out of each panel, right? It's more like uh, making use of your primary sources, much more efficient, let's say. And of course, if you design the system right, you get also enhanced crop yields. And, and what type of uh, gains are we talking about quantitatively? Well, uh, for crops, if, if we're talking about the really hot climate, uh, we, could, we could get maybe 10%, maybe 15% uh, higher yields, but of course we, haven't, we don't have values on these, so I cannot um, just throw you some numbers here like that. Um, what's important is that we, sh we, we, we show that there is possibilities to shade crops without uh, impinging their growth. So the shade is actually beneficial to the crops. Yeah. And if you talk about the solar panels, do they also get an impact if they are placed in between kind of the crops or on top of them? Exactly. And this is what we call synergies, right? Both one, both the crops and the panels benefit from that. And this is the most important thing that we're trying to prove here. So the crops that are on the ground actually reduce the temperature in a summer in summer right and that helps the efficiency of pv modules because they get cooler and so they produce more energy of course there are other synergies that i haven't mentioned um, so we reduce the amount of evotranspiration that happens on the crops so that crops sweat less mm -hmm. so you reduce the water consumption and that's a huge thing that's a huge uh, thing for some uh, some region because it gets really drier exactly. rivers dry out etc yeah and, and and lack of water is like a huge thing right now and it will become only bigger another thing that we notice is that we can use the support structure of the panels to support the crops so some crops require supports and in, in what way uh, to grow properly and, and, and grow like uh, upwards they require support so they can be used the, the panel support can be used for that and what are your next steps in terms of uh, research or career yeah, well, I had some experience with uh, some companies. We're doing some uh, AgriPV projects in the uh, UK. And now I started my PhD here back at TU Delft in AgriPV. So I'm really looking forward to that, hoping to, you know, produce some more valuable insights and uh, make this really promising. Yeah. We wish you all the best. Uh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.